All right, good afternoon, everyone. Brian here from Alcoin. Today, we're going to continue to talk about Vince McMahon, the allegations from Janelle Grant. Are they true? Now, we talked about in the short, the YouTube short I'm talking about, that she was already given $1 million, and that was part of a $3 million settlement. Now, she only got $1 million out of the three, so is this just a money grab where she wants the other $2 million or possibly much more? Now that she has a very good lawyer, it seems, that is willing to take this all the way. So what does that mean for Vince McMahon? He's already resigned from TKO Holdings, which just that alone is a disgrace because at his, as his, at his age, really, 78 years old is already extremely damaging for his legacy. So he obviously is in the legacy stage. He sold the WWE to the UFC, which is owned by ESPN. And these are larger network groups, which are in the billions. He's a multi-billionaire already. He is a top businessman in many regards, one of the first true hard promoters of the WWE, but also one of the real promoters of that era who have been through the grit and grind. You know, I mean, even there's many, very few actually boxing promoters in that category. So for his age, for his accomplishments, uh, he sold the WWE for, WWE for billions. You know, it's really, unfortunately, disgraceful that this came out now and it, that it came out in general. Uh, we hope it's not true. The texts uh, are on Reddit and I read them. We cannot read them here, unfortunately, because they're pretty graphic. And if these text messages are true... It just shows more towards Janelle Grant saying the truth. Now, she could be saying, saying the truth, but they could have agreed to do whatever they wanted to do behind closed doors. Now, what is the motive now to say that she didn't agree with the things that she was doing at that time? So now, they're talking about four years ago. So think about this. Four years ago, around 2020, he was 74 years old. So she was with a guy who was 74 years old. She knew what he wanted, obviously. So uh, the lawyer has mentioned uh, trauma bonding, which is real. So there are many truths to it. She received a million dollars already. So there are things that are true, and they're saying that the text messages are from Vince McMahon to her, they have that. And obviously, you know, for her to retain such a counsel uh, in her behalf, she had to have been telling many facts, which of course they had to check. So, you know, when, what time, you know, who sent it, show me the text, you know, all this stuff, of course, you know, no reputable lawyer is going to take the case of that magnitude going against people, you know, of his stature, I'm talking about TKO Holding's stature, and also he's a multi-billionaire himself, so he has plenty of counsel. So they wouldn't just do that without checking. So they must have checked things and found out, okay, this is true. Now, are there damages to be paid? She signed a NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, in 2022 is what they're saying. So does this go against the NDA? And even if it does, what are the repercussions? I mean, is the goal monies or her reputation? Or is it both? You know, now they're saying her reputation is destroyed. So they're probably looking to say, since her reputation is destroyed, now there's further monies 
that have to be paid or agreed upon. And I'm sure in the end, there will just be a settlement to disagree. And what does that mean is just, I mean, at some point, it's going to be useless to keep saying these things if they're true at this certain point. Because at a certain point, things have to get resolved. What does she want? What does he want? And there's probably going to be some sort of compromise uh, with monies and maybe uh, secrecy of, uh, there's probably more things, photos, videos, you know, locations, other people talking about uh, this situation that they know of already. So there's definitely witnesses who work in the WWE. So there's other people who knew or know about these things. So do they want to sort of, you know, prevent any further, you know, investigations to what happened? You know, Vince McMahon is a legend uh, in his field. He's a legendary businessman. He's 78 years old. I don't think he wants to continue this, my opinion. And I don't think any good lawyer would advise him to continue that. Now, they did what they did. They did what they didn't do. You know, she's saying she didn't agree. But there's also other people involved. So this will get very tricky. Even if he agrees for, with a settlement, who's to say the other people will agree to that? You know, they're going to have to tell their side of the story. So it, in my opinion, it's going to get messy. Because when other people involved, especially, I mean, he's in a billionaire status, but the other people are not, and I don't see anyone willing to just pay millions of dollars in legal fees to fight this if it's true, and they know it's true, but they just don't want to go any further with this because, I mean, it just damages reputations. And things will get exposed as far as text messages, times. Now, Vince McMahon, I believe he's still married. So, I don't know. With the other people, you know, there was negotiations involved. They're mentioning Brock Lesnar was uh, contacted as well. But it's just a name throw, you see. And that's the thing, you know. They're just going to throw out names. Yes, maybe he was contacted with the text messages, but... What does that mean, you know? And you see, that's where people, you know, they're not going to like that, of course, you know. You're throwing out other people's names, and you're saying that they were involved indirectly. Well, they were not. But when you start to smear campaign, then other people will get involved, and they'll say, well, oh, wait, hold on. I'm not involved, you know. I got a text message, but... And then they're going to have to go to court, explain, or... Uh, explaining some disposition or some document that they were not involved. Here's a text. This is when it happened. But, you know, people don't want to get involved in that because just to do that, you have to get a lawyer. You know, you can't just show text messages about somebody else too, a about a reference to some other scenario that even if you're not involved with. So now they put you in a bad situation where you got a text that you don't want to be involved in. So this is going to get very interesting. That's why I made the second follow-up video, because, yes, the Reddit text, yeah, they're pretty bad. But, you know, what? what, what is the outcome of that? You know, they, they knowingly did things together as well. So, okay, they're telling the truth, but... Where does it go from here? You know, what does she really want? What is she really looking for? And what does Vince McMahon want at this point in time in his life? You know, how does he want to end that scenario in a good way for him? All right, guys, please like and subscribe. I usually don't 